a at a Quaker, a Quaker yeah. meeting, a coffee Zoom hour. Yeah, face up. And, um, and I was asked, Gail, what can we do? What can we do for the Wampanoag? They've just lost their reservation. This was in uh, Friday when they got their phone call. Most people are aware of all that. A Friday afternoon, in the middle of COVID, and all of a sudden, you've lost your land. And so we just, we started with a preservation pledge that we had hundreds of people uh, sign um, about um, supporting, it's not on here, no. It was for support of the land and hopefully to try to get it back. And this went all over the place politically. So uh, Trump got it, the Department of the Interior. And out of that, we then segued into reparation. And the reason, now people should give way more than 1%. There are a lot of people who can do that, and they will. But the reason we made it low, because there was a feeling among other people, middle income and lower, well, we want to be part of this too. And if you make it 1%, then everybody can, has a part in it. They can, you know, it's not just for wealthy people to help out. Um, so I am going to read the uh, reparation that Lewis okay. and I wrote. And uh, this is what you sign. I put it in with my will. And even though I'm Wampanoag and I'm Quaker, I just feel that this is really important for me to honor my dad and, and my Wampanoag people out on my own house. So um, Native Land Reparation, to all, to all whom it may concern, be it known that Gail Melix, residing at number 20, Route 130, Ketuit, Mass, respectfully pledges to donate 1% of the sale price of her home to the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe, within whose ancestral land this property is located. I realize that the land, including the air, water, and biological life, is a natural relative to our tribe, to the tribe, and no amount of money can repay them for having it been wrongfully taken centuries ago. I intend to fulfill this sacred commitment embraced in the spirit of personal responsibility and reparation when the day comes to sell our home. Until then, I will continue to care for the land and its inhabitants with ecological integrity and respect and will honor it as our natural relative, for we are stewards of all creation. Ultimately, the land belongs to Mother Earth. And my husband, who is deceased, is also, I added him here, because he would want that. Um, I just think it's a, a good way to do reparation. It's one thing. There's